Travis McCabe, United Healthcare, takes the win in the final stage of the Colorado Classic. Photo courtesy of the Colorado Classic. The Colorado Classic's final stage was a great chance to showcase Denver's downtown district. Photo courtesy of the Colorado Classic. The pace was frenetic over the last few kilometers of the 2018 Colorado Classic on Sunday, but Team United Healthcare stayed on top of it as Gavin Mannion secured the biggest victory of his career. The 26-year-old Fort Collins, Colorado, resident held tight to the Blue Gates general classification leader's jersey after winning the Stage 2 Veil time trial and surprising himself with a follow-up podium in Saturday's 100-mile Queens stage. Travis McCabe, United Healthcare, takes the win in the final stage of the Colorado Classic. Photo courtesy of the Colorado Classic, this was the best week of my cycling career and today is probably the best day, Mannion said. Now I have been with United Healthcare for two years and with the team coming to an end, giving them a big victory is huge. I never gave up on the cycling dream and I'm happy to finally win a big race, adding to that was Sergei Devetkov, UHC, who repeated his 2017 Colorado Classic result, finishing second overall, 15 seconds behind Mannion. Hugh Carthy, EF Education First Repack P. B. Cannondale, maintained his 22-second deficit coming into Stage 4, rounding out the overall podium and also securing the Colorado Tourism Office King of the Mountain jersey. The icing on the cake for UHC was the thrilling Stage 4 victory of Travis McCabe. United Healthcare had plenty to celebrate. They won the men's and women's overall in second place, both team classifications, Queen of the Mountain Inn and multiple stage wins. Photo courtesy of the Colorado Classic for his to come out and race and get the win, more importantly, get the win for Gavin, is what we wanted to do. I'd say it's a pretty emotional time for us, McCabe said. We've always come out swinging and this year especially showed our capability as a team. It's a special moment, the urban excitement was Electric Sunday as the 2018 Colorado Classic wrapped up with Stage 4 presented by Gates Industrial Corporation, a circuit race around downtown Denver on a 9.1-mile course that started and finished at the Velorama Festival and sent racers around Coors Field, through North Capitol Hill and uptown to City Park. There were 74 survivors in the Stage 4 race and they completed 8 laps for 71.2 miles, all characterized by intense speed, focus and several breakaways. The final classification leaders, King of the Mountain, Hugh Carthy, Team EF Repack P, B Cannondale, Best Young Rider, Daniel Martinez Pavetta, Team EF Repack P, B Cannondale, General Classification, Gavin Mannion, United Healthcare, Sprint Classification, Joe Lewis, Holowesco Citadel P, B Arapaho Resources, Most Aggressive Rider, Taylor Finney, Team EF Repack P, B Cannondale. Photo courtesy of the Colorado Classic. After a few valiant but unsuccessful early surges by Colorado native Taylor Finney, EF Education Drapak P. P. Cannondale, whose efforts earned him the first bank most aggressive rider jersey, numerous racers took turns blasting ahead of the pack throughout the race, but none to much avail. The decisive moves came down to the home stretch, where the UHC riders cranked madly to the finish line and McCabe powered over it by a wheel as Ty Magner, Rally Cycling, and Joseph Lewis, Holowesco Citadel P. B. Arapaho Resources, followed in second and third, respectively. Lewis once again earned the Frontier Airlines Sprint jersey as Colombian phenom Daniel Martinez Podeva, EFD, nabbed the Icon Pass Best Young Rider jersey for the third day straight. Finish Rank Bib. Food of choice, sweet potato raw beer of choice, Unibro Grand Reserve 17, aged 4 years bourbon of choice, Widow Jane 10 year HTTP, slash slash www.scottkingslaphotography.com.